Yo, yo. Welcome back to the channel. Um, got a pretty interesting video today. You're gonna see me bang out a junk removal job, then I get some furniture from that. And then we ended up making a couch sale and made a decent amount of money today. If I could do this every day, we'd be sitting in a way better spot. But anyways, all this was recorded in one day. It's kind of like a vlog type, day in life type video because I've seen those all over YouTube and I'm from other junk removal people. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. And if you do, obviously you know what to do. Like button, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, that's it. So just enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. Yo, yo, we are on the road again. Finally got some jobs. Yesterday was just completely dry, but today I had two lines uh, or two jobs lined up and then a couch I was gonna sell. But the second job I had lined up today, which was gonna be right after this one, the guy canceled because he told me he's not gonna make it home in time. He's gotta work late. So he's just gonna reschedule with me another time. But we're still going to do the original one that I got this morning. And the lady called and said she found my website and one then she asked me my pricing and I told her and then she's like, okay, that sounds great. And then I told her, I was like, I can do it today if I can get help. Cause it's a, she told me it was a sectional and a sleeper. And if you know anything about the couch game, sleepers are heavy just cause like they're obviously the ones that pull out mattress. So it's a couch plus a mattress that folds up inside of it with like the metal framing and all that jazz. So those are heavy and I knew I probably wouldn't be able to do that by myself just cause I've done a lot of couches and I know if I could just throw a couch on a dolly and roll it out the front door, I could do it by myself, it'd be fine. But for some reason, couches never fit in doorways. You always have to fit them through diagonally at the, just the right angle. And the way that it would has to go through a door, would just, it wouldn't fit it on a dolly right. It might, but I don't want to embarrass myself in front of these people. And what? Holy cow! Lady slammed to a tree over there. Uh, Looks like a uh, cops over there, so it should be fine. But anyways, yeah, the couch thing, I just didn't even want to attempt to do it by myself. So I asked them if they could help me. And I said, if they can't help me, I can schedule you in tomorrow and I'll bring an extra hand. And they said, no, she said, no, my husband can help you around 5.30 or 4.30. So that's what, that's uh, what we got planned. 4.30, you want to meet them now. I think the husband's going to help me get the couch and the truck and stuff. And I told them $50 a couch and they have two. They have a sectional and a sleeper. So $100 for this job. And that's not bad, because if I can resell this stuff, then I'm definitely gonna kill it on this job. But if it's just 100 bucks and I have to go throw it in the landfill, it's gonna be like 10 bucks, probably dump it. It's fine, it's 90 bucks for probably an hour of my time. Totally worth it, in my opinion. About 10 minutes out, and I wish I had like a chest mount or something so I could record me like doing the job for you guys, but. If I can get an angle somehow, I'll try maybe, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'll just let you guys know how it goes after, and I'll keep you guys updated, so stay tuned. All right, so we finished that job. Gotta be kind of quick, because I feel like my GoPro battery is getting kind of low. The guy rolled in like five minutes after I showed up, or less, because he was coming home from work, which is fine. And he helped me carry the couch out, went pretty smoothly. Uh, like I told you guys, I was hoping the sectional was like something crazy. Maybe I'd get like a huge sale off sectional. But it was one of just those original sectionals that I've sold a hundred times. I'll probably like show, I'll throw up an image of what it looks like. And you guys have seen me, if you watch my previous videos, sell these kinds before. And I've sold them all the way from 350 to like 200 bucks. And I'll probably, this one's stained and has dog hairs all over it, but I'm gonna bring it in my house and see what I can do to it. Hopefully we can get most of the stains out and stuff. And dog hair is the hardest part to get off these couches. I mean, you just hit it with a vacuum and it doesn't even move. You gotta either get like a lily brush or something like that and scrape it all off and then vacuum it. So we're gonna try to salvage this section and sell it. So that'd be sick if I could at least get 200 bucks for this and then the 100 on top of the job that I just got. And yeah, that's how much I charged him was 100 bucks if I didn't say that already. And I probably could have charged him more because I pretty much have a full load right now. But I didn't want to charge him my full load price, which was like 180 bucks for just two couches. Because it literally took us like 20 minutes to load it. And the only reason it took us that long is because it was, one was upstairs and the guy was like struggling to carry it. So we're kind of just like dragging it downstairs. And I was on the heavy end too. And he was just, couldn't really get a grip on it. I don't blame him. It was kind of hard to grip, especially if you were on the top end. I feel like there was nowhere to really grab it. So we we're kind of just sliding it. That took a minute. And then this neighbor came over and he was kind of like chit-chatting with his neighbor while we were trying to pull the couch out. So it took a little bit longer, but 
100 bucks for 20 minutes and I don't even, I'm not even gonna bring any of this shit to the landfill because I'm just gonna try to sell it and not just jam it in the landfill for no reason when it looks salvageable. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm gonna bring this all to my house. Maybe try to clean it up a little bit, list it, see what we can get for it. I know I could probably get 300 for this couch, but for the video's sake, we'll say, worst case scenario, I get 200, and then 100 I got for the labor, I just, for pulling all the shit out. So that's $300 potential profit on today's job. That's all I'm really trying to do, like a few hundred bucks a day, anything over 100 a day profit, not 100 sales, like if I do 100 in labor and go to the dump and it's 20 bucks, I only make 80 bucks. I'm at least trying to make over a hundred profit a day in this business, obviously, and I'll be happy. Obviously, in the future, I want to get those big jobs like those real estate clean out stuff where I'm making like a thousand dollars in a day. That would be sweet, but I definitely don't have the a big enough trailer or anything to do that. I mean, I could, but it, it'd take me forever. No one's gonna hire me if I take three to day, three days to do a clean out. That would take another business one. I'm gonna say that was a job well done, definitely a profitable job, and now. I just had this guy message me that I was gonna go sell this couch to for 250 profit. Not this couch, the one that's in my storage unit that I've had there forever that I got for free that smells like crap because it's definitely like got like dog all over it and it reeks. But this guy, I told him that I had it for three. I think I had it for 300 and he offered me 200 and I said 250 and he was like, fine. So we agreed on 250, so. All right, so I just got done with the uh, back of the trailer. And this is the sleeper I was telling you guys about. That's heavy as hell. And I'll show you guys the uh, couch cushions over here. But we got the cushions over here on the ground. Nothing special. Like I told you guys, I've sold couches like this before. This colorway at least. And then these are the couch cushions I already took off. Gonna bring those upstairs, get them washed. And then this is the actual sectional. Can't really tell what it looks like without the cushions on, but if you can, I've sold tons like this. These original brown ones with like the cream colored cushions. The cushions are like the same color that that velvet color, that under mesh, whatever you call this. This is like what color the cushions are. So if you've watched my channel, you've seen me sell these types before. They sell good for like usually 300 bucks. So that is the plan. Gonna bring these upstairs, like I said. Oh. Bring these. You can see they're covered in dog hair and crap. And I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that's all of them. So we're gonna bring these upstairs, get them washed. Probably not gonna put them back on until tomorrow because it's gonna get dark soon. And then hopefully we can sell that couch later tonight at the storage unit to that one dude. That'd be sick. And I'm just gonna keep everything in the back of my trailer for now. And so that's what we got planned for the rest of the day. Wash these, meet that guy at the storage unit at like nine o'clock and that's it. So hopefully they make a uh, profitable $500 a day, hopefully, so stay tuned. All right, we are at the storage unit, uh, just waiting on this dude. I got here like 10 minutes early just so I could pull the couch out and let it air out for a second. Cause like I said, it smells like dog, but he knows that. I just didn't want it to be sitting in the unit and you swing the garage open and it's just been lingering in there. So it's gonna smell even more like dog in this storage unit. So I just went ahead and pulled it out. I'm gonna let it air out for like 10 minutes before it gets here. So it's hopefully not that bad when it gets here. I'll try to show you guys what it looks like, but you'll actually see what he's gonna see. Cause this is, it's completely dark over here. I probably should park my truck in front of the couch. So this light back here shines on it when he gets here, but yeah, you can't see crap. Here, one sec, I'm gonna turn the flash, turn around, put the flash on my phone. Yeah, even with the flash on, but this is the kind of a couch, as you can see, it's like a gray, nice material, that nice, like, fake leather material. Decent sized couch. I mean, it's probably like eight foot by eight foot or something like that. I don't remember the measurements exactly. Pretty big, nice, gray couch. I mean, if this thing didn't smell like dog, I could easily sell it for like 400, easily, probably more. I mean, the cushions come off, I could have done the whole nine yards to get it spotless, taken a few hours to really clean this thing for probably a few more hundred bucks. But obviously I was just being lazy and I'd rather just look for more couches and spend so much time on one. So I'm happy with 250. I mean, I got it for free, so that's all profit. 
All right, well, now what I want to do is wait on this guy, and then hopefully he just hands me the 250 bucks and we can load this thing up in his U-Haul. And that's 250 bucks in my pocket. I'd be happy. So let's see. All right, we just sold the couch. Went pretty smoothly. Dude showed up in a big-ass U-Haul, so it was, like, super easy to load. It was quick. He just cashed at me 250 bucks, and I immediately just transferred it in my bank account. All right, so I decided to film the rest of this video in my room because it just wasn't working in the truck as you saw in that last clip. The quality was terrible. The camera was shaking all them out. So let's just hop into the numbers and you guys, I brought you around with me all day. You saw what I did. I had one junk removal job. And then after that, we kind of just hung out. I took the couch cushions off the couch, brought those upstairs, washed them. And then I met the guy at the storage unit for $250 profit off that couch that I got for free like a week ago or so. So if you want to take $10 out for gas for the day, we can say we made $340 profit today. That's not bad. I wish I could do that every day. If we were doing that every day, we'd be sitting in a good spot. But that's all I really got for this video. I just wanted to shoot like sort of a day in the life vlog style kind of video and see if you guys like it. So if you do like it, definitely just drop a like, drop a comment. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. We just hit a thousand subscribers so I can finally get into the uh, partner program, maybe put a few ads on some of my videos and make a, some extra revenue from these videos. That would definitely motivate me to make more content. So we'll see where that goes. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.